hey what's up YouTube this is Abdul Hamid back again with another awesome tutorial and let's see what we're gonna learn today so that was awesome let's dive into the tutorial Here I am in After Effect with uh, a composition already created. This is my raw footage. Uh, so this is uh, what I sh shot. And uh, you must keep in mind that uh, your composition setting, the frame rate uh, must be uh, exactly equal, same to the actual frame rate of the footage. So uh, the frame rate of the footage is 23.976 and frame rate of the composition is same as the footage. So uh, for now, let's uh, we want uh, to track the footage. Uh, so for that, uh, mm, select the footage, go to animation and uh, track in Mocha AE. So here I am in uh, Mocha AE. Uh, the frame rate is uh, good and uh, the frame rate it here is also good and it is HD video yes it is okay everything is fine just select yes and now we've got our footage so let's uh, create select a pen tool and create a rough mask around our hand like this so this is a rough mask uh, everything here looks fine just go and uh, click this f uh, track forward and it will take some time and wait for it so it's done now after that go to layer controls here and click this uh, what it say push the surface uh, to the corner of the image you must uh, click it uh, otherwise it won't work and it will shrink the footage so after that go uh, go in here export tracking data and uh, so I uh, I selected this one so go uh, select the after effect corner pin uh, supports motion blur uh, copy to clipboard so now it's done now let's go to the after effect uh, here I am back in after effect uh, go to the first frame the first very first frame right click new solid and create a solid and I'm gonna name it track sample so it's gonna have our tracking data so uh, just select the track sample edit paste and now it's tracked to our hand so now that that looks cool and uh, just uh, disable hide the uh, track sample now uh, let's create the fun thing so uh, right click new solid i'm gonna create a black solid of for no reason fractal I'm gonna name it fractal go to fractal uh, noise effect fractal noise effect under noise and grains and drop it on to the fractal so now let's play with the uh, fractal noise uh, change the basic to dynamic progressive push down the brightness a bit minus a seven contrast like this and go to transform and scale it down a bit this looks fine after that hit and hold alt uh, uh, evolution and uh, type in time star 70 so it's gonna have some motion in it and after that go to the first frame of fractal and select the track solid and press u uh, so we have all this tracking data uh, uh, select all of them press ctrl plus c copy it and select fractal noise edit paste so now the tracking data is also on the fractal noise layer so just uh, disable the fractal noise and go on to a pen tool select fractal noise and uh, create a rough mask around the hand so this is our rough mask and this is our track as you can see uh, when the hand uh, gets stretched uh, the, the layer also gets stretched uh, and this is uh, kind of cool for me and that's why I prefer uh, the corner pin effect uh, corner pin track so now let's remove these things so we can have a perfect borders so first of all uh, go uh, press F and feather it out like this now let's uh, bring down the opacity select pen tool select fractal layer and create a mask like this 
so now we have created uh, a second mask this is the mask uh, go and press M on the fractal noise go to second mask and to uh, change it to intersect like this and just play with the mask after that like this so for now this looks fine to me uh, go to uh, fractal and uh, press F feather out the second mask a bit like this you can also play with the mask expansion for the second one so create a mask path keyframe for the second one and now we are gonna see what we have to do now just go and manually edit everything that you need So now I've created keyframes at multiple points uh, and this is how it looks now. So for fractal, uh, these all keyframes are good. Uh, so that's what I need right now. So you can be more precise, more correct if you uh, have uh, more time. So for now, uh, that looks uh, good for me. So now let's hit the veins. So for that, I have two uh, vein files. The one is here. I can drag in, drop this is the one uh, go to uh, transfer mode and uh, multiply so that's what we have here right now so let's uh, put it randomly anywhere you you want so we want it to be here we have a second file that is like this uh, you can scale it up like this duplicate rotate scale up or whatever you want uh, I'm just gonna play with the first one for now so uh, go and type in fast blur and drop it on to all of them so we can just blur out copy on the second one copy on third one copy on fourth one so that's cool for now just uh, uh, select all the veins and uh, control shift C or layer comp pre compose and I'm gonna name it veins that's what it is now and uh, double click the veins go and right click new solid create a white solid like this so this is what we have now so that's cool uh, now uh, go to fractal and type in U copy all the data control C and uh, go to the first frame and control V so that's what we have right now and and now uh, go to fractal noise and uh, change the track mat to luma mat everything this layer has black it's gonna remove it from this layer so uh, all the veins are, are removed uh, from this layer now so uh, uh, after that uh, select both of them Control C, uh, Control Shift C, precompose and call it uh, fractal veins or whatever you want, and that's how we got it. And after that, uh, go on to fractal veins. Uh, here we have uh, our fractal veins. It's tracked. So, right click, create a new solid, black solid. So you must create a black solid here, otherwise uh, uh, this uh, will not give the look of uh, natural uh, natural lights. So uh, every everything gonna be over bright. So go to raw footage too. So we have uh, a fractal vein with black black background. So change it to color dodge. So here we have color dodge. We got somewhere. So now let's play with the colors so I'm gonna type in curves drop into fractal vein go to red channel just push this up go to blue channel push this down and now play with the green like this 
so we are getting somewhere go to the fractal veins uh, so we have vein here and go and type in fast blur so change it to one blurriness so let's play with the veins and everything create position keyframe and go to the last frame and change it just a little bit so it moves a little bit like this and for others do the same so it has some life in it so that's what we uh, have now after this go to the fractal veins uh, select uh, both fractal and uh, veins and control C copy them go to the uh, main comp and uh, paste them here control V so we have here right now so mm, that's what we have uh, so remove the track math uh, if any one of them have uh, and after that uh, just enable the veins change it to multiply so uh, it's uh, right here and change its uh, track mat to alpha mat so uh, it shows uh, uh, only in the places uh, where uh, this this mask is uh, so uh, that's what we want after that go to tint and drop a tint effect on veins and uh, change the black color or uh, map black to something that that is red so uh, and then uh, change the opacity bring down the opacity so we can have something like this so uh, I'm gonna uh, place the opacity 50 right here and when he close his hand I'm gonna increase it a bit so the effect is done now now let's create a new uh, solid and uh, gray uh, orange solid change it to add create a mask over our hand like this change the luma matter of fractal to uh, no uh, we want no track mat on fractal noise uh, press f s like this and press t to bring down the opacity uh, f if you want to change it so you can drop fast blur on this vein too and uh, just increase it so you got the main idea of the tutorial uh, and you can play with the, the veins with the fractal noise and everything uh, until you get something that satisfies uh, your effect if you like this tutorial please uh, press the thumb up uh, down below comment down what effect you want uh, next uh, uh, what tutorial you want and uh, subscribe to the channel it helps a lot uh, and uh, love you guys uh, see you in the next tutorial